Buddhist mandalas, Leonardo da Vinci's Vitruvian Man, the Egyptian pyramids, the Mona Lisa, Mozart's music. What do these diverse artistic and architectural marvels have in common? The answer is that they all embody the principles of sacred geometry, a hidden language that shapes our understanding of beauty and structure in the universe. Sacred geometry is the belief that certain geometric patterns and forms are found throughout nature and the cosmos, revealing an underlying order and harmony in the natural world. A mathematical language, if you will, which governs the universe and all of creation. These patterns underpin the structures of music, light, creation, and the cosmos itself. It is associated with the belief of a divine creator, or a universal geometer, which suggests that the harmony and order that we see in the universe through sacred geometry reflects a higher intelligence or a conscious design. As Galileo Galilei put it, mathematics is the language in which God has written the universe. We can't pinpoint the exact origin of sacred geometry in ancient civilizations. However, it's likely that as these cultures observed nature, they identified recurring geometric patterns, such as circles, spirals, and triangles. They ascribed great meaning to these mathematical principles and integrated them into their art, architecture, and spiritual practices. These sacred figures were studied for the same reason they studied the stars, namely, to know their gods better. If the universe communicated through a geometric language, then by incorporating these patterns, human creations could align with the fundamental principles of the universe, bridging the physical and metaphysical worlds and reflecting the interconnectedness of all existence. They too could speak the language of God. Among the earliest and most prominent examples of sacred geometry in action are the pyramids of Giza in Egypt. These are masterpieces of geometric precision that have stood for thousands of years. The precise alignment of the pyramids with celestial bodies and their proportional perfection indicate that the ancient Egyptians knew about sacred geometric principles. In ancient Greece, philosophers like Pythagoras and Plato explored sacred geometry in both a mathematical and metaphysical context. This gave rise to concepts like the Golden Ratio and Platonic Solids, which they believed were foundational to the structure of the universe. The Greeks integrated these geometric principles into their temples and art, which illustrates how profoundly they revered these shapes and ratios. In the East, the intricate mandala designs in Hindu and Buddhist traditions represent the universe and spiritual journey, embodying sacred geometry in their symmetrical and harmonious patterns. As you can see, examples of sacred geometry can be found everywhere in nature and man-made constructions from ancient times. If we consider sacred geometry as central to the concept of creation, it implies an unfolding process beginning with the simplest geometric shape, a single circle. This is not a scientific assertion, but rather a metaphysical or philosophical perspective. The single circle symbolizes unity and the undifferentiated. From this simplicity, the Vesica Pisces is formed when two circles overlap. This shape, resembling an eye or a fish, represents duality and the emergence of consciousness and creation. It is the geometric seed from which more complex forms emerge. Following the Vesica Pisces is the formation of the Seed of Life, a pattern of six circles surrounding a central one. This stage symbolizes the six days of creation, a concept found in Judeo-Christian and Islamic teachings. The Seed of Life is seen as a blueprint of the universe, containing the essential information of life itself. The next stage is the Egg of Life, formed by adding another circle, creating a three-dimensional structure. This pattern is believed to underlie the basis of music, the dimensions of space, and even the aspects of our bodily form. The Flower of Life, an extension of the Seed of Life, adds more circles to the pattern, resulting in a more complex and intricate pattern. This is a shape found in ancient cultures around the world, it's considered to be the visual expression of the connections life weaves through all sentient beings, 
a representation of the interconnectedness of all life and existence. When the flower of life is completed, it reveals the fruit of life. Composed of 13 circles, it is seen as one of the fundamental blueprints of the universe from which all forms can be derived. The number 13 in the fruit of life is associated with femininity, fertility, and abundance in various spiritual traditions. When the feminine pattern of the fruit of life is combined with masculine straight lines, the result is the formation of Metatron's cube. This combination exemplifies the balance and integration of masculine and feminine aspects within sacred geometry. In Metatron's cube, you can find the five platonic solids, considered the building blocks of the universe. These solids, tetrahedron, cube, octahedron, dodecahedron, and icosahedron, are the only perfectly symmetrical three-dimensional forms that occur naturally in the mathematical constants of the universe. The platonic solids represent the elements, which are fire, earth, water, air, and ether, or the universe. In this way, the entire universe's structure is thought to emerge from these basic geometric shapes, a concept that connects physical reality to sacred geometry. Over the years, the interest in sacred geometry hasn't waned. The Renaissance period witnessed a heightened interest in sacred geometry, with masters like Leonardo da Vinci infusing their art with these timeless patterns, reflecting their search for a deeper understanding of the cosmos and the divine. In contemporary times, sacred geometry continues to influence architecture, with many religious and spiritual structures around the world incorporating these patterns into their design to evoke a sense of harmony and spiritual resonance. The influence of sacred geometry extends into the realm of spirituality and New Age practices as well. It is commonly employed in meditation, healing, and personal growth exercises with many ascribing to it a transformative and an enlightening power. As you explore the world of sacred geometry, you may find that focusing on these harmonious designs can deepen your inner peace and self-awareness, connecting you more intimately with the universe's vastness. This ancient practice can offer practical ways to enhance your well-being, bringing a sense of order and beauty into both your inner and outer worlds. What do you think? Is sacred geometry a fundamental blueprint of the cosmos or just a coincidental arrangement of shapes and patterns in nature? If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel. It helps our channel grow so we can continue to make more content like this. Thanks for watching.